Well, we moved to the Panhandle of Florida and we're gonna be here for about a month. So we figured while we're here, we knock out some projects and some maintenance and stuff. Yes. Leslie has already started. Yes. With organization, surprise, surprise. <laughs> So a little bit of organization today. Yeah. What is the the major project of the day? Major project today is going to move the kayaks out of the storage. Okay. And into the bed of the truck. We got some cool bins. We'll show you we those We did in a get second. cool bins for those. Yeah. Now that we won the solo stove, I'm like, where is this stove going? Yeah. And I thought, honestly, if we could get two ki inflatable kayaks out of there. No problem. The space is not an issue. Yeah. And then we bought some trim. Yeah, because about a month ago, uh, you probably saw the video, where our walls were a little too long and they were pushing down on linoleum and kinking up the flooring, so we shaved those walls down. I say we, but John <laughs> and Dwayne helped, uh, helped us do that. They, yeah. they did it for us. And so um, uh, where, where we cut the trim out or where we cut the wall out, it's a little unsightly. Well, yeah. A lot of people early on we saw were putting the trim in mm -hmm. the dinette side because it wasn't there. Yeah. For looks, it's just like, why wouldn't you put it in there? But we didn't have a problem with it, so we never messed with it. But now that we've shaved some wall off, yeah, it's eye-catching now because we know it's there. Exactly. So we got a little bit of a flat trim. We're going to paint that, mm -hmm. and then we're going to attach it to the wall. Nail gun it to the wall and be done with that. Yeah. yeah. And we got a new rug for outside. So that's just today. But we got lots of projects while we're here. We'll share them all with you. Yes. Well, in case you don't remember the video where we did the modification on the wall here. This is what I'm talking about. This unsightly spot right here where we cut a piece of the wall off. So we're gonna put the trim on here all the way back to the corner and all the way across. We're basically gonna frame out this slide. Well, we got the trim in and this is the after. So you can't see the, uh, the big cutout anymore and you can't see the stud behind there. And we decided not to use the nail gun. We used double-sided tape, which worked really well. And the reason we decided to do that was because we had that aluminum stud back there. And because there's nothing that really moves or bounces around a lot in here. So we don't really have to worry about this trim falling off or anything. So we figured, hey, double-sided tape will probably do the trick. Well, thank you to Sumo Springs, the sponsor of today's video. Um, Sumo Springs are maintenance-free suspension enhancement for your RV or your vehicle. They're made out of like this microcellular polyurethane, which yeah. I don't know what that means, but it's very scientific <laughs> and they work really good. It reduces the, the sway, the hop, and the body roll when you're towing, but the body roll is really important because of that frame flex thing that everybody's right. got going on. And unlike independent suspension, that you'll pay like 10 grand for, you can take these Sumo Springs with you so if you decide you're going to change RVs, you can take them off your current RV, take them with you to the next RV, and to the next RV, and to the next RV. Yes. You don't have to worry about keep, keep buying independent suspension exactly. for your RV. Sumo Springs come with a lifetime warranty, a 30-day money-back guarantee, free shipping and handling under 50 pounds, and best of all, they're made in the USA. Their latest and greatest product are the new leveling kits. Yes. These are specifically built for towing, mm -hmm. and it reduces that squat. When you reduce that squat, you reduce the amount of pressure that you're putting on all of those truck components that are used for towing. So not only is it going to help with the performance of your vehicle, it's gonna prolong the life of your vehicle also. Mm -hmm. If you don't see your model specifically on Sumo Springs website, keep checking back because they're working on adding more models. We'll leave a link in the description below to Sumo Springs. Pop over there, we can save you 15%. And all you gotta do is put in the promo code WAYWARDWAGS when you check out. They also have a a video section on their website. So if you have any questions, there's lots of videos mm -hmm. to go on and watch specific to your needs for, for your towing. Let me show you the before because these kayaks take up a ton of room in here. And then once we put the kayaks in the back of the truck, I'll show you how much extra space we're gonna have down here. Now you might be asking yourself, self, <laughs> why would they need bins for their kayaks? Yeah. Cause they're in a, in a protective case. Yes. But we have this tunnel cover. It's a threefold, mm -hmm. but it's not completely watertight. No. Water does get in there a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Not a ton, but it does get in there a little bit. So when the water gets in, it kind of runs down a little bit and it kind of pulls it's, up in the front yeah. of the cab of the truck. So we don't want those bags just sitting in water. No. So we're going to get the bins. They'll mildew. Yeah. And I got to show you these bins. Because we have this big ass hitch, <laughs> we can't use most of our truck bed. And if we used regular bins, 
they would have the sides that would go up all the way. And then you would have to take this off to get to the kayaks. So we got these bins that are missing the front part. So when water runs in, it will run down in this area right here and it'll run down and it'll pull down there. But now our kayaks will be sitting in these bins and won't be sitting in water. And we can easily access the kayaks. We'll grab them out of here, pull them out, and then when we're gonna put them back in, you just put them back in. And these bins will never move and we won't have to remove this to get to our kayaks. These are the Blue Hawk stackable heavy duty bins and we got these at Lowe's and they were about, how much were they? They were $20 a piece. 20 bucks. And now we'll know what it's like to go on a ruck march in the <laughs> army. <laughs> That's bigger than you are, man. <laughs> <laughs> and so now we have both of the kayaks in there, in their bins, and both pumps. got both pumps. So. And what we'll do is when we want to use these we will take this kayak out through this way and we'll take the pumps out and then we'll slide this bin that way and then take that one out because we have the handle over here can't really get anything out from this way so that's what we did going in should put the first kayak in slid the bin down then put the pumps in then put the second bin in then put the kayak in. so worked out pretty good yes and now we have more storage space yes <laughs> and if you're wondering why leslie's doing all the heavy lifting it's because I'm um, still on limitations for my surgery, so it's not just because I'm being an a-hole <laughs> no. and making you do all the work. You are past the, the one month of nothing over 10 pounds, but... Those kayaks are heavy. They're 31 pounds each. I don't, it, I don't want you doing that right now. Yeah, so they want to take a chance, so yeah. Leslie did it. Well, that little project is complete. Yes. And we got a lot of space back. Yes. Good Doesn't deal. Look cluttered. On to the next. <laughs> Forgot to mention, we just got a new rug. It's one of those little ones, it's just a five by seven. Just enough to knock the dirt off our shoes before we go in, so we don't track all that stuff in. But when we got it the other day, <laughs> I have to show you this, because Leslie went to go put it out, and this is what happened. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hold on to it. Take well, two. take two. Try it again. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that was a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> the next little bit of maintenance we're going to do is we're going to change our anode rod. Not to be confused with your adnode rod. We did a video about this a long time ago. And honestly, I don't even know how we did a full video about unscrewing one bolt and screwing it back in. But anyway, we're going to change the anode rod. All you'll need is the little breaker bar, the extension, and the 1 and 1 16th socket to take the anode rod out rinse it all out and then put the new one in. You will want to make sure you turn off your water heater at both your electric and your propane. That way the water's not hot because you want to drain all this out and you don't want like scalding water draining out while you're doing this. So turn that off, let it sit for about an hour, let that water cool off before you take that old anode rod out of there. And put a little Teflon tape on here, plumber's tape, Teflon tape, whatever you want to call it. And here comes the most important part really is, well, I flushed that out really good. Kept flushing it until I didn't see any more sediment. All that sediment you see is all the stuff that corroded off the anode rod. So once all that's out of there, make sure you get a good layer of the plumber's tape on here. And then you wanna make sure uh, that you really line those threads up really well. If you don't line those threads up really well, and then you tighten it down, what it'll do is it'll warp those or strip those threads. And then your water tank is toast you have to get it rethreaded or get a new water tank so make sure that these are lined up properly when you go to screw this anode rod back into the tank oh did i forget to mention that you have to turn your water off when you're doing this otherwise it'll just keep trying to fill your tank and it'll just keep pouring water out so you have to turn the water off when you're doing this next project is to replace the ratchet straps on our valterra stabilizers and this stabilizer what it does is it decreases the amount of rocking in your rig front to back and there's another one on the back that decreases the rocking from left to right these ratchet straps are like as old as these we've had these since since the rig so what we'll do is we'll leave a link in the description for the valterra stabilizers in fact we'll leave a link to all the stuff that we use all the tools that we use for all this video's projects we'll leave it down in the description below so if you want to use any of this stuff or find any of this stuff that's where you'll find it so these get rusty and hard to open and close and adjust and stuff so we're just going to replace these ratchet straps uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to condition our seals. Or, or. 
not those kind of seals, these kind of seals, the seals that go up against our slides to keep the water from going in and out. But if you leave these untreated, they can dry and crack and break and replacing these things can be a pain in the butt. So we got this stuff. This is our three in one RV care rubber seal conditioner and it reduces friction. It's water resistant, prevents cracking and fading and extends the life of your seal. So um, it's a good idea to put these on every once in a while. And it has two different little modes, which is really cool. We got this on Amazon too. So it has a little stick that you can spray there for like concentrated one location. And then if you click this down, it's more of like a mist spray. So what I'll do is I'll spray it on the seal and then I'll take a cloth just to wipe it down just to make sure it's evenly coated. So I'll do as much as I can do from down here on the step ladder, and then the rest I have to get up top side and uh, go from top side down. For the seals that are on top of your slides, you will definitely have to get up on your roof because even if you have a ladder and it goes up to the top of your slide, you're not going to be able to reach over the top of your slide to get to these. So you'll have to get up on your roof to do these, but um, just be careful up here. Well, that's some of the maintenance stuff that we've done yeah. in the one month that we're here. <laughs> but it's just so much that so can't jam it all in one video. No. So stay tuned to next week mm -hmm. where we're going to do some more maintenance and maybe some more organization. Yeah. I love organization. <laughs> I'm down. And I don't love RV maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> well, this would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, stick around. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. See you next week. Bye.